Hey, what's up guys? Coach Shea Pierre here, back for another incredible soccer training video. But really, you can, if it doesn't matter what sport you play, if you're an athlete and you want to compete at the highest level, separate yourself from the competition, be a game changer, actually fighting, show-stopping athlete, then this training video is for you. It's going to teach you the incredible way to open up your hips when it comes to hip mobility to get you warmed up and help reduce your injuries, prep prime, ready to go. Then we go into our speed scale hip focused change direction speed work and then at the end oh i love this stuff and, and my girls today they did such an incredible job demonstrating these drills showing it at the highest level we go into our four cone change of direction speed work that's going to help you tremendously get in and out of your brakes with purpose with a sense of urgency but most importantly with the proper form technique posture alignment so you can be it's so explosive at the highest level let's get after it Hey, I just want to take a second here to let you know that there is a full PDF in the description below of this entire workout that describes the sets, the reps, and the entire philosophy so you can do this at any time and really take your game and separate yourself from the competition. Go get it right now. So we're going to go through the hip mobility series. It's only going to take about 10 minutes. So the first stretch we're going to go through is the 90-90. So this is going to work on external rotation of the front hip, internal rotation of the back hip. So I want 90 degrees in the front and in the back, set up long and tall. Try to turn your chest so it is straight with the knee. And you're going to push this front knee down into the turf as hard as you can. Three, two, one, ready, and go. we got 10 seconds. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, keep pushing, 2, 1. And then you're going to hinge at the hips, take a deep breath out, relax, and you're just going to Fold over ever so gently. You're going to feel a big stretch in your backside hip in that pocket. We're going to relax here. And we're going to drive that knee down to the turf from the same position. Don't go up or down. Three, two, one, ready, and push. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. And we're going to drop a little bit deeper into the stretch. You're gonna lead with the chest, trying to keep a flat back. You should feel a deep stretch, not only in the hip now, maybe a little bit in the hamstring, depending on how tight it is. We're gonna do one more drive of the knee down to the turf from this position. Three, two, one, ready, and push down. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, keep pushing. Five, four, all out. Three, two, one, and relax all the way down. We're just gonna hold this for another 10 seconds to finish. And relax. We're gonna switch over to the other leg. We're gonna sit up, start long and tall. Okay, we're gonna push that front knee down. Three, two, one, ready, and push down. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and hinge over. Lead with the chest. We're gonna push down from this position. Three, two, one, ready, and push. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and release down a little bit further into the stretch. Take a deep breath. We're gonna push down from this position. Three, two, one, ready, and push. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and sink down a little bit further into it. We'll do one more here. And last push, ready, and go. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and release as far as you can. And release back up. Now from here, you're gonna plant your hands back behind you, and we're just gonna rotate and drop the knees from side to side. Now if that's too easy, you can take the hands off, and you can, go handless and just use your hips and your core staying long and tall I want five per side it's a little bit more challenging without the hands you need a lot more mobility in the hips and a lot more strength in the core once five of those are done then we'll bring the hands back behind us we'll widen out our feet and we'll drop one knee in and then just alternate from side to side. Get a lot more internal rotation of the hip here. Keeping the chest up long and tall. Again, five per side. Now 
And now from here, we're gonna go into this kneeling position, bring one leg out to the side, foot planted down. You're gonna rock the hips back, feel a massive stretch in your groin and hamstring. You're gonna do 10 rock backs. And then when you're finished 10, don't switch sides, sit up long and tall, and then you're gonna rotate that outside leg, turn that toe towards the sky, get as much range of motion as you turn it as far as you can. Trying to keep the chest straight. We got 10 rotations here. Once you're done the 10 rotations, bring that leg right out in front of you. Balance yourself, keep your core strong. Now you're gonna rotate from side to side. All the way from one side touch the ground, so the right, all the way to the left side touch the ground. And here you have 10 per side. So you have 20 total rotations. Working the full mobility of the hip. And then when you're done that, we'll just switch to the other side. Ten rock backs, ten side rotations, and then put out in front, and then we get both sides. All right, this is gonna help you get a little bit more, not only range of motion, but a lot of more mobility in the hip. So when you go to sprint, we can help reduce your injuries, change directions. you be a little bit quicker, faster, and more explosive. When we're finished this one, choose any side you want. You're gonna bring the leg out beside you. The knee should be in line with the ankle. Make sure that the heel is flat down to the ground. And all you're gonna do is we're gonna push the knee um, out and hold this stretch for five seconds. Now, you've seen us do the weight shifts with the kettlebell or dumbbell. The weight just pulls us and pushes us into the uh, stretch so you feel a little bit more. We can do it without it as well. Just make sure that you drive this knee to the pinky toe so it doesn't collapse the inside arch. So we're gonna do it, ready? And push, just kind of lean into it. Hold this for three, two, one release and now you can adjust the leg forward for more of a groin stretch or bring it closer for the calf. So we'll do it again. Four, three, two, one. Make the adjustment. We'll lean into it going down in four, three, two, one. We'll do two more, five reps of five seconds and we'll switch going down five, four, three, two, one. Last one and we'll push that knee as far as we can. Four, three, two, one, and we'll switch to the other side. Ooh, that feels good. And we'll push out. Four, three, two, one, we'll come back and adjust. And down, four, three, two, one. We got three more. Make sure the heel is down, flat down to the ground. Three, two, one, we'll come out. We got two more. Ooh, that's a deep one. Four, three, two, one. One last one, and here we go. Four, three, two, one. Right, that right there is our hip mobility series, the ground-based series, just to kind of get everything opened up. Now we're gonna go to our dynamic hip and change direction series, let's go. Hey, what's up? You're one of the true one percenters. You made it to the end of this video. That means you wanna be a game changer, electrifying, show-stopping athlete, and separate yourself from the competition. Do me a favor, if you like this video, comment, subscribe, and like it, and share with a friend. That's gonna help us grow, that's gonna help you really evolve, because that means you wanna help somebody else evolve and take their game to that next level. I cannot wait to see you again. Let's keep pushing for greatness together. Let's go.